Now, how was absolute time demolished? Well, it was demolished from a rather strange area. It was demolished, essentially, from thinking about electricity and magnetism, in particular, Maxwell's equations. So here are a couple of equations, Maxwell's wave equations, first published in the 1860s. Um, what are they? Well, they sprung from the fruits of experimental science. They're essentially a theoretical framework based on the experimental work of Faraday and Ampere and others studying how electricity and magnetism works. So you put a current through a wire and you make it vary what is the force on a compass needle and so on. And of course, Maxwell added a piece of mathematics, a beautiful mathematical synthesis, and came up with these equations. And I wanted to just read you a little quote that I found fascinating. When we speculate about what Einstein thought and why he found these equations so profoundly interesting, you can just read what he said. Um, he wrote in The Fundaments of Theoretical Physics, um, imagine, this is about Maxwell, when he first wrote down those equations, imagine his feelings when the differential equations he had formulated proved to him that electromagnetic fields spread in the form of polarized waves with the speed of light. And this is the beautiful bit. 